Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe with the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. Wow, I am shocked about this trade. The New Jersey Devils traded Kyle Palmieri and Travis Zajac to the New York Islanders for a 2021 first-round pick, a 2022 conditional fourth-round pick, uh, A.J. Greer and Mason Yobst. And, um, you know, they retained 50% of Zajac and Palmieri's uh, contracts. So um, I'm shocked about this deal. I really am. You know, including Zajac in the deal, too, and... Um, you know, not getting back any roster players. It's always good to get a first round pick. Um, you know, even the, the conditional fourth, that's a good pick too. But, um, you know, the Islanders are a good team. It's going to be a later first round pick. Um, I haven't seen anything about the condition. I'm guessing if they win a round or rounds, it advances to a third round pick. Um, the, the two guys we got don't have a lot of NHL experience, uh, mostly playing for the AHL. So, um, yeah, it's a shocking trade. It really is. And um, I've said this in a bunch of videos that the NHL honest were right, especially on this deal. You know, a lot of teams are very reluctant on holding on to their high end prospects, their first round picks, because they don't want to give it up because of what's going to happen with the cap, uh, the cap structure with the next couple of years with um, NHL teams. So they're going to hold on to their players who are most NHL ready to possibly put them in the lineup. And um this goes to show, you know, it's th these players coming back. I don't know too much about, um, you know, I'll go over them in a bit, but um, I am shocked about this trade. I really am. I thought we could have gotten back more, but it's just what happens. You know, maybe a lot of teams weren't giving Fitzgerald what he wanted and he saw that, you know, a first was included in this one. So they went with it. I don't know. Um, you know, I'm glad for Palmieri and Zajac in this case that they get to go, you know, over to the Islanders. They're not too far from us. And be re reunited with Andy Green and Lou Lamarillo. So they have some familiarity going into that locker room. And, um, you know, it's always good when you have uh, familiar faces there to help you ease into that transition. So I'm sure they'll fit seamlessly right in. Um, Palmieri fits that team like a glove, especially with Lee going down. So um, And so does Zajac. These two are going to fit. Islanders fans, you're going to love these two guys for your team. They're going to help you out. And hopefully they can help you guys win a cup this year. So... Yeah, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I really am. I knew Palmieri would get traded. We all knew. But Zajac, to me, I didn't expect to be included in this. I thought he'd be one of those players that retires a lifelong devil and, um, you know, uh, you know, helps the, the young core of kids coming up, helps them to mold into the devil system, too. So um, I'm shocked about this. But, um, you know, at this time of year, anybody can go. So, you know, talking about the guys that the devil's got. Uh, AJ Greer, he is 24 years old. He's 6'3, 210 pounds, the left wing. 2015 second round pick, 39th overall by the Colorado Avalanche. He's played in 37 NHL games, one goal, five assists, six points. And this year he played for the Bridgeport Sound Tigers, 10 games played, one goal, one assist, two points. And going over to Mason Yobst, he's a center left wing, most notably a center. 27 years old, 5'8, 185 pounds. He was an undrafted player. And in 2018-2019, he was a Hobie Baker finalist. And he's played this year for the Bridgeport Sound Tigers as well. Six games played, two assists, two points. So, you know, not a lot of NHL experience with these two guys. I'm sure they're going to go uh, over to Binghamton and play for them. So, um, ooh, I'm shocked about this one. I really am. When I saw this, I was just in utter shock. I really was. And, um, you know... I just want to say thank you to Travis Zajac, thank you to uh, Kyle Palmieri for, um, you know, just being consistent players for us. You know, it's been turmoil for the past couple of years, uh, going over coaching changes and GM changes, player overhauls, and um, these two guys were just consistent devils for us. You know, Palmieri with his 20-plus goals, 50-plus uh, points, you know, Zajac with his uh, excellent two-way play. And they were just good devils on and off the ice. They were well loved by the fans. The, you know, the players always love these guys. They always talk very well when, um, you know, in tough times and talking to the media. So, um, you know, these were good guys. And, um, you know, I hope, I hope they can win a Stanley Cup with the Islanders. And, um, you know, it sucks to see them go. This was a tough trade when I read it. And, um, you know, I, ha I had to take a little bit to do this video. You know, I, especially that I wasn't familiar with these two guys that we got. But, um, you know, just taking it in that you're kind of, you know, we're losing Zajac and Palmieri and, 
you know, what the lineup is going to look like going ahead for the Devils. So, um, they're also UFAs. They could possibly come back. So we'll see what happens in the off season. But, um, you know, this, this was shocking. It really was, but Islander fans, you guys are getting two gems. They're going to help the, your team dramatically and try to help you guys win a Stanley cup this year. So comment below what you think about this trade. Um, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of hateful comments and some people that I honestly like the draft picks we got. So Comment below what you think about this. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Smash that like button. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. Join our hockey team. Have a great rest of the night. Have a great day tomorrow. Take it easy. Stay safe.